Right, let's get started. Let's welcome again to my panellists, broadcaster and columnist Lizzie Cundy, and also broadcaster and political commentator Sam Dowler. 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 That's, 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 like, that's what my old Bargy teacher used to do. Is it? Dowler. It's like you talking again. Yes, well, you, <laughs> and it was, it you was. haven't stopped talking. It's like a little Muppet mouth going, ah, yes. Ah, ah, yes. Ah, ah, ah. That's what it looks like from the side. <laughs> The Liz, Lizzie Cundy, it yes. is. He's, he's the one in the middle. Uh, Lizzie, what do you think uh, about this? Seriously, your thoughts on Dylan Mulvaney? She is a man. Yes. Wearing a bra, like a sports <clears throat> bra, promoting a sports bra without any breasts, of course, because he's a man. She's a man, sorry. Well, I'm, I'm absolutely appalled by this. And you know what? When I speak out, I'm, I, I'm, I'm made to feel I can't speak about this. And I'm proud to be a woman, which is an adult female, just in case you're wondering, Sam. But I, I really seriously are getting upset because I feel intimidated and silenced whenever I speak mm. out about this issue. And this, to me, is absol absolutely wokeful nonsense. And that's mm. what it is. As someone who grew up in awe of Nike as, as a big, mm. iconic brand, um, I think this is absolutely disgusting and they're going to have a big backlash from this. And I'll be honest, I really think this is a money-making machine. They, they're using the trans community that should be treated with kind and understanding, but using them as, as, a, as a way to promote themselves, just as Nicola Sturgeon did, using them as a political football. And it's not on and it's disrespectful for women. For women. And you know what? I've really had enough of it. I've had enough they're of it. They're raising women. But, 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 but to me, the way Dylan behaves in this video is a caricature of a woman anyway. It's all a bit... And it's like, well, hold on a minute. Sorry, that's actually taking the proverbial mm. out of us. It, what do you think, Sam? I mean, you well, must be supportive. Well, this is, um, this, is, this is Dylan Mulvaney's brand. You know, she is like a... She's a comedian, an actress. Do you know what I mean? This is... These, and, and I've worked with a lot of influencers. Um, brand partnerships like this are their bread and butter. Like, she did one with uh, Bud Light last week and then was slated for that. And, and Kid Rock went and, like, did a video where he's um, shooting, a, shooting a case of Bud Light with an AK-47. I mean, like, this is... This is this has nothing to do with her. It's not her problem. Um, and, and I think, and, no, no. You know, and this is, and this is, um, and, and all that happens. Like, for example, I went on the GP News um, Instagram account um, this morning because um, Dan was talking about it this week with Sharon Davies. And, and underneath the comments were, he's a freak. Dylan Mulvaney is one of those people you gladly punch for nothing. Um, that's an it, not a she, it's a thing. Like, sad, these, no, but listen, get but listen, that. listen, no, 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 listen to me, you. listen to me. So it is, whereas, this this person is a 26 year old person, and they are trying to you know rich. Well, they, <laughs> rich. well they might they, they, they might well. they might they might be doing they might be doing no very well. Are if you, you about they, to make they, us, are you about to make us supposedly feel sorry for this person? No. What I'm what I'm what I'm saying what I'm saying this this is a trans person wearing leggings. Everybody needs to calm the hell no, down. No, Sam, have you watched yeah. it? Sam, yes, Sam. of course I've watched it's all of it. It's not a trans person wearing leggings. It is a trans person mimicking, caricaturing a woman. That's, that's, selling, that's, hang on, hang on, that's what she does on, in, her, in, in her videos. Promoting bras, sports bras for mm. women. And all as she, a woman, I find does, it so disrespectful, she, Sam. I find it does. so dis... And what, what, why are you sticking up? How is it disrespectful? She has, it's she has, she has, she has women 12, like... She has 12 million... Uh, she has 12 million followers, most of who are women who will buy, who will buy this because she's been wearing it. I, that's, I don't that's care what many Nike see. They see, how, they see 12 million followers and they were... And they were and all she does is talk about positivity and fun and laughter, and that's what and that's what Nike yes, want to get into. It's raising but women. It's, not, it's, not, it's not raising women. It is. The, the rest of the rest of Nike's Instagram feed are all all cis white women or just no, 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 cis women in general. Hey, 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 do not come into the studio and call me a cis woman. It, otherwise, I, I will call you a cis woman. Cis women, do not use that term. Otherwise, I will eject you from the chair. A woman is a woman. I don't want to hear that again from your mouth. Yes, well, that is well, that is what um, the rest of their feel is. So it's nothing to do with um, it's something to do with her. It's like it's not her decision. It's Nike's decision, and she's just she's just doing her job. So I mean, I think I, I think the attacks that she's had for it. She looks from, like from she's all, taking all the total unfair. Mickey out of a woman. Have you seen How her she, prancing she, and acting she's, the way she's, she's, she is she's on being that funny. post? She's she's a comedian. Well, I don't that's find what, it funny. That's what her video. Wait a minute. Whether she's a comedian or not, <clears throat> the, the, the point is that Nike are using a biological man to promote something that is really a properly female product. Mm. And what does that say to the other amazing female athletes that they could have selected, like Riley Gaines and people like that, who, whilst Nike obviously don't mean to cause any offence, but the backlash is... Mm. You saw the video of what happened to Riley Gaines. Yeah. She was chased out of this, this after doing a speech. Mm. 
Well, I don't, um, I don't know what the context see, was for uh, that. But, but um, you see, the problem with it is that it promotes and it reinforces this kind of thing. Yes. Mm. And that, that's the problem mm. for women. And it's the biggest sports brand in the world. Mm. This is so but she's, wrong. But she's not, but she's not, um, you've already, basically, lo- so many laws have already been passed, like, you know, um, various different sporting bodies, as Sharon Davis was talking about, where, where trans people aren't allowed to compete. So now you're saying that they're not allowed to wear women's sportswear either. No, so they can't, so they can't compete all wear women's sportswear. No, that's not what the Well, that sounds like what, it. You're putting words into my mouth. That you're sounds not like it. So, 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 so tell me what it is. They don't have to just be erased altogether. I'll tell you what's being said here. You do not need to use a trans woman to promote bras for women because women could have. promote that themselves and they don't need somebody okay. who is not a woman to promote that, especially when but it's they want, But they want to gain access to her followers who, who, who love her brand. It's her offensive brand. to women and it's trying to raise women. Well, we'll it see. isn't fair. We'll see whether it works for them. We'll see whether it works for them. But if you just join us, welcome on board. This is GB News on TV, online and on digital radio. Great to have my panel.